Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we're going to be making something similar to a compiler. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started. So we're writing this in Python, um, just because Python's a relatively easy language to use and get stuff done with. Um, so it's, it's kind of perfect to code a Python to C++ compiler. Well, it, it's, it's, it's a compiler and it's not a compiler. Because if you read the definition here, a compiler is a computer program that transforms source code written in one language to another language. So you'll see, essentially, we're not actually taking Python um, at all, really. Um, we're actually just taking, well, let's go ahead and run it. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. So we can say we want the print action, and then we can say how about we want food, you know. And then it will give us the code in C++ of how to print food. But essentially we're not actually taking the Python code and turning it into C++, unfortunately. Um, I would do that, but that's, that would take a long time and that's why you don't see a lot of compilers. So in essence, this isn't technically a compiler, but this is something for beginners um, to maybe look at and base their code off of. So um, yeah, but with that, let's get an explanation of the code. So we've got our little comment there. And then here it says, um, this is our print. You'll see right here, select function, print, etc, available, help. And then here we have the input action. So if the action, if that variable right there, action, equals help, then we're going to print that and print that, essentially. And then if the action equals print, then what we're going to do is we're going to use this variable with the input text, so that way we can take a user's text, and then we're going to print this, 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 plus that, and then we've got our variable, and then that and that and then print that. And that essentially is your C++ code for printing, which is a whole lot more than Python. And essentially that is why you would probably build a compiler. By no means is this a full compiler. This, this really is not. But it's great just to maybe, you know, show someone something, I don't know. I mean, you can just do anything, I guess. I don't know. Really, this isn't a compiler. This is just, I mean, it, it, it's kind of you kind of like just paste in your code, well, what you want your code to be, and essentially it outputs like the raw code. So, I mean, I guess it's probably not as much of a compiler as anything else, but um, you could build a compiler from this. Um, yeah, if you actually made it so... I mean, maybe in a future video I'll actually show how to build the full compiler. I was just trying to keep it fairly simple, um, but yeah. Maybe in a future video I'll show you how to maybe read it from a Python file and output it to a C file. Um, but I don't know, I guess that's it. It's a fairly simple uh, process to do. It's not really a compiler, but I don't know, I guess uh, this is just a tutorial. so. As always guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, peace.